Bank of Ghana is set to push all financial institutions to fully comply with the directive of using armored bullion vans for cutting currencies in the country. It was one of the issues discussed at the emergency meeting convened by the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, today. It follows Monday's unfortunate incident at the timber market here in Accra, where robbers attacked a bullion van, killing two, a policeman escorting the van, and a hawker. Now, the Inspector General of Police, James Opombuenu, in response, directed all banks and financial institutions to provide fortified armored vehicles for cutting of currencies by the end of this month. According to the Inspector General, failure to do so would leave the police with no option but to withdraw their services. And as we're hearing now, the central bank has stepped in to push uh, financial institutions to comply. Uh, joining us via Zoom is... Uh, Mason Tokuno, who is a banking consultant as well as a former MD for a Bank of Africa, to discuss this further. Thanks for your time uh, tonight. Your reaction first to yesterday's unfortunate incident. Uh, good evening um, to all listeners. Uh, I think it was very unfortunate uh, that this kind of incident happened. Uh, too many a time we lose people, especially um, the police that are supposed to be rendering uh, services to the community. And uh, it's unfortunate. And my heart goes uh, to the policeman and the hawker, their families. In yeah, very unfortunate indeed. So we've seen the IGP say, enough. Uh, we are not going to escort these vans anymore if they are not armored vehicles. And the IGP has given the deadline of uh, the end of this month. They are justified in asking for that, aren't they? Well, I think they are not asking for uh, too many things. Uh, and I, I, I tend to agree with Bank of Ghana and mm. also uh, the IGP. Because if these things are happening uh, and we don't take time, uh, it will continue to happen. So I, I think it's high time uh, we get uh, ammo vehicles uh, as a deterrent uh, to uh, the armed robbers. I think it's in the right direction. But how effectively uh, would the escorts, and I guess the cash be protected with the use of an armored bullion van? Just some education. Well, you know, um, banks uh, by regulation, uh, every, every branch of a bank uh, has what we call a vault limit. The amount of, uh, to which you can keep, you know, uh, money in your vault, and this is even insured. Now, Bank of Ghana requires that everyone adheres to it. Now, there are times that customers go to the branches. Uh, some sometimes with proud notice, they needed more money. And if, for instance, uh, you have cash in your vault that is below some of the requirements, especially what you're going to be dispensing for the day, it is good for you to get to your head office mm. and they will send you money. That is when, you know, uh, uh, the armored vehicles will commute between the branches and the head office in order to satisfy the customers. And sometimes when your, your vault uh, is above the limit, you need to evacuate to Bank of Ghana. These are all regulated. And that is the reason why you see billion vans moving from one end to the other. Well, the last one I'll say is that there are uh, some companies that deal with a lot of cash mm. and uh, they don't have branches that are very close to them. So arrangement is made that these monies are evacuated from the, from the companies. So these are the three types of uh, movement of the billion vans. Okay. And, and so I... I understand there were discussions already underway for banks to switch to the use of armored bullion vans. I think the deadline, I may be wrong, was in 2023. And now, uh, because of the latest incident, they have this deadline till the end of the month to do the switch. Uh, just wondering how realistic the deadline is. You, you are very much right. I think Bank of Ghana uh, should not rush into this because but I don't think there is any bank in Ghana today that will be able to get the ammo vehicles by the end of the month. For me, I would uh, um, say that uh, this month, end of this month is too, is too early. If they give them about three months to order these 
uh, armored vehicles, they, they are not uh, around the shops that you're going to be buying. You have to order them. So I think Bank of Ghana should be a, a little bit lenient uh, with the banks so that they can uh, satisfy everybody. And when you have the IGP also on your neck uh, saying that you have till the end of the month, it, it gives them uh, really no, no choice, does it? Yeah, that, that, that's very true. But I, I, I can imagine uh, the banks in a very uh, uh, difficult position. I think they need to dialogue uh, with the IGP. Mm. I believe mm. that, I believe that uh, if they give them some space, even if you want to establish a letters of credit, you know, for the billion bonds to come. I don't think it will be uh, within uh, 90 days. Mm. I mean, that's the best they can do. So I think the banks should dialogue uh, with the IGP. Uh, let them show to the IGP that they are serious and all of them uh, are making efforts in order to get the, the, the billion bonds. I think that is what they should do. And, and this incident has brought to the fore, once again, the need for us to step up uh, electronic transactions. That sounds plausible, only I think it will take a while to drastically reduce uh, cash transactions. That, 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 is, that is exactly. That, the next thing that Bank of Ghana needs to do is, is to find out how um, we can begin to do electronically some of these movements. Uh, we are going towards a cashless society. So I think Bank of Ghana uh, should think uh, behind uh, what they have now asked them to do. Because eventually, we need to go to a cashless you know, society. Right. Thank you so much uh, for your expertise on this matter tonight. I appreciate that you could join us. Uh, that was Mersin Tokunu, former MD of Bank of Africa, also a banking consultant. Um, his thoughts on recent um, incidents to do with the attack on the bullion van there at the suburb of uh, Jamestown. Two lives lost, a policeman and a hawker.